So welcome back to the best of Camstasia 8 module 5 and in, in this module what we're going to do basically you know before we jump and go ahead and start to go and talk about uh, encoding formats etc I thought I better you know cover just a few uh, basics here that can actually help you in your editing you know I told you before it's better for me to do it now than do it later so otherwise you, you may end up trying to use your Camstasia and finding that some things doesn't work as I said it would. So we put it here in module five. So the first one is how should you record it, your uh, screencast? Always record your screencast in CamRack, okay? Why do you want to do this? Because the CamRack is, is an encoding zip format created by uh, Camstasia itself for Camstasia use only. So, you know, you don't really need to produce your video in order to work with your video. So, as you can see, I'm using here Camstage 8 and my clip bin is green. And the reason is green is because on a previous video just so I actually used my uh, Camstage 7, my old, old version of Camstage, because I had to install it in order for me to be able to film the screen uh, using Camstage 8. Otherwise, I cannot use Camstage 8 and film all the features of Camstage 8 because it doesn't work. So you can see the error message kept popping up. Okay. So if I reopen now Camstasia 7 here, we're going to have some errors popping up again. And if I go record screen, so you can see the difference here of the interface. So you can see Camstasia 7, this is a Camstasia 7 interface. Okay, and here is the, or the GUI, and here is the Camstasia 8 interface. So you can see the difference, okay, in, in them both. But basically what I want to show you here is, if we go here to record screen, so there it goes, okay. It, it does that because um, I'm actually using the Camstasia 8 recorder, which is this one here, controller. And basically what I'm going to show you here is when we go to uh, Tools and we go to Options, you can see Camstasia by default is record to CamRack. So always record in CamRack. If you record in AVI, AVI is a huge file, okay? This is the biggest file you can get at the moment. And if you record in AVI and if you go a small hard drive, that means what you gonna be recording is the in the original size what of you know what you're filming. So what happened is you may end up filling your hard drive really really quick and find that your computer goes really slow because you're doing the IVI, which is the original size of, of the file. Usually this is the size used for DVDs and for, for TV and stuff like that. That's you know. You know, if you can avoid recording in AVI, don't record in AVI, okay? Always recording in camera. Now, next thing you want to do, so this is actually, I'm showing this, uh, okay, we can get out of here because we don't need cam7 again, so I can close that. Uh, the next thing you need to do, you need to download QuickTime 7, okay? This is a free plugin. So basically what you do, you go to Google, and find the QuickTime 7. So there it goes. So quick QuickTime 7 download. You click there, you put your email address and you download it for Windows or, or if you're using it the Apple, then you don't need to download that for Mac, I think. But if you do need to download it, then you need to download the QuickTime 7. So after downloading QuickTime 7 and install it, now you're ready to to go ahead and start to produce, you know, produce and share projects because then the files will play on your computer and <clears throat> it's much easier to use. Okay. Now the next step, uh, another thing I want to point out here is uh, what, what you may want to do is I've, you have noticed that I keep calling my icons from my taskbar here. Now to do this, to add icons to taskbar, all you do is, is when you open the applications, uh, you got a chance when the application shows on your taskbar to right click on it and pin this program to the taskbar. You can see that my is pinned, so if I pin it, so what happens is if I close the program it disappears, but I want it to be pinned so the program is always here even when I'm closed. So you see I don't need to have the icons on the desktop like I told you. In the beginning of these tutorials, try not to have any icons on your desktop. Keep your workspace clean for, to prevent viewer distraction. 
So that's it for the module 5. So if you go ahead, do all these little things, prepare your Camstasia uh, for, for the video 6, where we're going to talk about uh, encoding formats. So once again, I'm Zenuns. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.